Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the AFE Momentum GT cold air intake with the Pro Dry S filter in black, available for all 2019 and newer Ram 1500s with the 5.7. You should be checking this out if you're looking to switch out your factory restrictive intake for a cold air that's not only gonna give you a bump in horsepower and torque, one that does not require a tune, has premium quality materials, and has an upgraded dry filter. Now this guy right here has two big key things I wanna talk about, the filter and the air box. All of that I'll break down in detail, comparing it to stock in just a little bit, but know up front here guys that the Pro Dry S filter has a triple synthetic filter media that gets finer and finer, filtering out everything you don't want getting in, but it's also going to pull in a lot more cold air with its upgraded design. Now the filter air box is a completely enclosed air box that is gonna keep out a lot more of that unwanted engine bay heat and pull in more cold air and it even utilizes your factory air duct pulling in cold air from that front grill. AFE lets us know this is gonna increase airflow compared to factory up to 39%, and it also is good for gains of high single digit horsepower and torque. This also has a giant tubing here, way bigger than the factory one, so altogether, huge upgrade in every aspect. Now, because this does have a completely enclosed heat shield, which a lot of options in the category don't, and it has a huge upgrade in the filter department, it does carry a slightly higher price tag, falling around 450. Now there are options out there for 350, but you won't be getting an enclosed heat shield and you might not be getting as big of a filter, which plays a huge part in the performance difference. Now the install is gonna get one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Anybody can tackle this in the driveway at home with about an hour from start to finish. Cold air intakes are some of the easiest things you can do to your truck, specifically under the hood. I'm gonna show you every step of the process with very simple hand tools. What do you say we get started? Tools used in this install include an impact gun, extension, flathead, 11 millimeter deep socket, and a 20 millimeter wrench. All right, first step here, you're gonna disconnect the temp sensor just by disconnecting that harness. Pinch and pull back. Next step, we're gonna disconnect this hose, which is just to the left. You're gonna push up on that gray locking tab from the bottom and pull straight back. Next, we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna loosen up this clamp connecting the factory hose to the throttle body. Now what we wanna do is lift straight up on the airbox to disconnect. There's two little rubber plugs that these are in that are kind of retaining that in place. So we're just gonna pull and disconnect it from there. There we go, and we're gonna set this aside. Next step, what you wanna do is remove this factory air duct. Now you may need to put a little bit of firm pressure on it to pull straight back because it's clipped in to this plastic portion below it. So we're gonna lift up from underneath, disconnect. Now you'll see that it has this molded on little bracket that slots into that hole, so that's what you're pulling out. Set this aside. We got our factory intake off of our 19 Ram behind me. We have it on the table next to our AFE option, and I wanna show you guys similarities and differences between the two kits. Let's start with the main player here, the filter. Now, I took apart that factory air box to expose our flat drop-in paper element dry filter. Now, the only real similarity here is the fact that they are both dry filters. Other than that, completely redesigned for our AFE kit. This here is a nine inch tall conical 360 degree radius filter with an open top. This guy here is made from three layers of synthetic filter media that gets progressively finer throughout each layer. That means it's gonna do a much better job filtering out all the unwanted particles that you don't want making their way into your engine, which your factory filter would not have been capable of. This guy here just really is not optimized for airflow and filtration. Does a decent job out of the box or off the line there, but really maximizing performance, not gonna be the way to go. This guy here from AFE does an amazing job. As a matter of fact, AFE lets us know that this whole kit has been computer designed and dyno tested proving up to 39% increase in airflow over your factory kit, which I think are pretty impressive numbers. Now, they also let us know you can expect high single digit gains for horsepower and torque without a tune, but of course you can maximize that by picking up a tune separately if you'd like to really reap all of the benefits here. One other thing I wanna talk about with this filter is that open mouth design at the top here. Now this guy is pretty unique. Not a lot of filters in the category offer a design like this. So you can see AFE is taking that extra step, which is expected with the cost you're paying. Around 450 bucks is a little bit toward the higher end of the spectrum, and it's really showing off in some of those smaller details. Aside from that, you're also getting an upgrade in your tubing. This tubing here is much, much larger than your factory one. That means it is going to carry a larger volume of airflow. It's also a lot less restrictive. 
Your factory intake has this flex tubing, which can restrict some of the airflow, slowing it down, which will translate to robbing you of some of that power you'd otherwise get with a more free-flowing airflow. When it comes to the materials here, you can expect a super heat-resistant XLPE material. It's really a textured black hard plastic. That guy being heat-resistant is gonna dissipate some of that engine bay heat a little bit better to keep your cold air cold. Finally, the big key player in the kit, aside from the filter, is your air box. This guy is a completely enclosed one-piece design, also that same material to dissipate some heat. And it's got this plastic window here with the AFE logo on top, which does look pretty good, but it also gives you insight to see your filter condition to let you know easily if it's time to clean it. Cleaning it is pretty simple, so when you look through that window and you see that it's dirty, pop that guy out, use some pressurized air to clean it off, throw it right back in and you're good to go. The, one of the benefits of a dry filter is that it doesn't require as much maintenance as an oiled filter. And that's something really unique about the AFE option here. Finally, it is also going to use this little inlet here to connect to your factory air duct. This guy pulls in air from the front grill and you're gonna be retaining that in this kit, which not many kits on the market will do. So it is, again, maximizing its potential. Finally, guys, we're just gonna transfer over a factory component to your new intake, start with some assembly, and then get to the install. All right, so the first thing we're gonna transfer over here is your factory sensor. So on the side of that factory tubing, you'll see that located here. Now what you're gonna do is twist it counterclockwise and just wiggle it until it pulls out. You don't wanna damage this, so you wanna be pretty careful when you are removing it. So right now we're just gonna twist, that loosens it up, wiggle it, pull it out. So I'm gonna set that down. The other thing we have to transfer over are the factory grommets in our air box. We're gonna transfer those over to the open holes here that will retain the heat shield in the vehicle. So let's pop those out. All right, so there are four total, two on the outside of the air box and two on the inside. Guys on the outside are pretty simple. Just gonna go to the back, just kind of pull down and pry off, set them down. On the bottom, you'll be able to see the ones on the inside, so you can pry out from the bottom as well. There we go. Let's set this guy aside. Taking a look at our new heat shield, let's grab those grommets, and we're gonna put them in through the bottom in the opposite way that we took them off of our factory one. It's pretty simple, right? Right in here from the bottom, these guys will pop in. You might have to put a little bit more pressure on it to get them to stick. We go just push in the center of them and they'll snap into place and then do the same thing on the bottom now on the side it is optional to use this plug included in the kit you can plug this up to completely seal off the heat shield or you can leave it unplugged to allow for a little bit more airflow on the side or the inside of the fender here on the passenger side there is somewhat of a little window that lets airflow come through. So just like your factory duct is gonna pull in air from the front of the grill, that opening on the side also feeds that air through. So it would be a good idea if you're looking to maximize your gains to leave this unplugged. But if you really wanna plug that up and completely seal off any engine bay heat, you can do so, it's personal preference. We're gonna leave it unplugged because we'd like to see as much gains as possible. What's gonna happen is the coupler all the way around your filter has these little tabs. Those tabs are gonna hold it in place. So what you're gonna do is make sure that the filter is aligned properly. So that little silver bar is the bottom. So make sure that's facing down. It's gonna go straight in here and you're basically going to push this through around the edges, seating this all the way in. Now it might take a little bit of pressure and elbow grease. You might even want the help of a flathead if you're having some trouble. That'll seat all the way down. All right, so once you'll do that, it'll snap in and sit completely flush. All right, so I did take our clamp off, so you'll wanna put the clamp back on there. I'm gonna set this guy aside. Let's focus on our tubing. On the side, you'll see this pre-drilled hole, which is gonna be where your sensor will seat. Now, what you're gonna need is the adapter and the grommet included in the kit. This grommet is gonna make sure there's no air leaks, so you're gonna set this guy all the way around that hole. And then from there, take this adapter and push it into place. Now this again can be pretty tricky. You might wanna put your fingers on the inside to keep the grommet from falling through. You want that to stay seating flush. Yep, so as you can see, I pushed mine in and the grommet fell through a little bit. You don't want that to happen. You wanna pull it out and try again. If it falls through at all, there's gonna be an air leak which may even cause a check engine light. All right, so we're trying this again, making sure that the grommet stays flush and there you have it. From there, grab your sensor, line this guy up and twist it clockwise to lock it. Now what you wanna do is make sure it's oriented the right way. This little tab on the top, opposite of the connector clip, 
needs to be facing this throttle body opening. So what we're gonna do is take the whole unit and twist it. Here we go, so that tab is now facing the throttle body. You can also look directly inside and you'll be able to see that little blue dot. That's the sensor that needs to be facing that same direction. All right, so next let's take our hose fitting and focus on the threaded hole here next to that sensor. This guy is just gonna thread directly in and you're gonna grab a 20 millimeter wrench to tighten it down. So go as far as you can in by hand, grab the 20 and tighten her down. Now this will not sit completely flush. It'll get tight before that. So you don't wanna over tighten it and strip it out. Just get it so it's nice and snug. All right, there you go. First step, we're going under the hood. We're gonna reinstall our factory air duct. Now this guy is basically gonna feed right back and the two little slots here will slot into this open hole. So we're just gonna slide this guy in and it clicks into place just like that. All right, next up, let's drop our heat shield into place. Now this whole assembly is just gonna seat in exactly where the factory unit was. So we're gonna line up those little studs and drop her into place. All right, so you're just gonna push that guy in and it'll seat right in place. Next up, we're gonna install our coupler onto our throttle body. You're also gonna take one of the clamps included in the kit and put that guy over it and then feed this guy down. So you want that to seat all the way down on the throttle body. Grab an 11 millimeter socket and tighten that guy down. Next up, let's grab our tubing and we're gonna put that onto the other end. And then this side here obviously is gonna connect to our filter. Let's focus on the throttle body first. You wanna also make sure that you have a clamp on over it and then install that onto the coupler. Push that guy all the way down. Now before we tighten this down, let's seat it into our filter. All right, so you might need to wiggle it back and forth a little bit to get it to seat. From there, tighten down both clamps. All right, so now let's connect our sensor and our harness. Since it's right here, I'm just gonna plug that guy in. Next, we can do our hose. Next, we're gonna connect our factory hose to this new fitting. Now, it's at a little bit of a weird angle, so we may need to push this around a little bit to get it to seat, and maybe even rotate that fitting connector. Once you have that, snap it into place, and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the AFE Momentum GT cold air intake with the Pro Dry S filter available in black for the 2019 and newer 5.7 equipped Ram 1500. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.